June 23rd, 5.46 p.m. I'm at my usual dive, a spot on the corner of Maine, when I lay my eyes on her. She's got dark hair that hangs down her back and a look in her eye that says she's in need of a little direction. I've always had a kind face. It must have caught her eye, because she approached me, all nervous-like. Her eyes darted side to side, like she wasn't supposed to be there. Maybe she was skipping class. Are you, um... Depends on who's asking, honey. I'm a freshman. Or... soon to be. You're undeclared. She nods. I know it's embarrassing, but everything just happened so fast, and things just kept coming at me. I don't need to know your life story, doll. Why'd you come here? I need help. And now you're sounding like a broken record. I need help finding a major. Just something easy, I guess. Easy as dropping out and getting a part-time gig serving up malted shakes and cold fries to teenagers out past their curfew. What are you trying to say? I'm saying easy is bushwa. You can quote me on that. Well, there's no need to be crass. My apologies, Mrs. Grundy. She might have needed help, but she was being of no help to me. She seemed sharp, analytical, but also had a softer, more artistic way about her. She had the morning paper stuck in her pocketbook and a pen stuck through her hair, but she was no journalist, that much I could tell. After weighing all her options, I came to one so simple. I wonder why I hadn't thought of it sooner. Maybe it was the whiskey. You ever look at a Macy's flyer and wonder why you're angry? Yes. Maybe your friend had you ask for that second candy bar, because you always said things better and got better results? It's entirely possible. I, I don't recall. And maybe, just maybe, you're the friend that can take all that hard, sciencey mumbo-jumbo and help your less sophisticated friends know what's going on. How did you know? You ought to check out a couple communication courses. Talking. That seems a waste of a degree. If you think all there is to communication is the gab that falls out of your mouth, then you really don't know your onions, doll. You can do that? No. I don't got the skill, even if I had the time. Well, then who can? His name's Mason. George Mason. He can help you. He can make me a comm major? I told her he could. It's not entirely accurate. You make yourself into what you want. No one else will do it for you. But she had time to learn, and she needed something to hope for. I never did see that little doll again after that. I like to think she went on to be a real effective communicator. It's a cold, confusing world out there, and a girl's got to do what she can to understand it all.